What's going on there, folks? Good morning. It is the Earth Master here on this third uh, Wednesday. I was almost ahead of myself. Wednesday, uh, 23rd of February, 2022, about 7.16 a.m. California time. Latest quake out there shows a 5.5 earthquake. Let's go ahead and check this out. Uh, latest earthquake here on the globe. I know it happened just a uh, over an hour or so ago. Uh, not a whole lot of movement has happened since then. Checking out the latest map there shows that 5.5 into the Colombia region it looks like right there on the map Santa Rosa del Sur Colombia pretty uh, somewhat deep earthquake 57.1 kilometers there for the depth uh, not a whole lot of damage from that earthquake fortunately about the only earthquake there in that region some movement uh, has been picked up over the last couple days around the Puerto Rico area still kind of swarming up there overnight and earlier this morning and also within the last hour or so a couple earthquakes just on the southwest side of the Puerto Rico area so movement kind of shuffling up here in this region down in the southern part here of the uh, or central part here the Puchelli Trench some deeper movement taking place in the Bolivia area and the Chile region a couple uh, deep earthquakes there a couple small fours but uh, deep earthquake activity nonetheless in that region uh, look at the Pacific. Look at check this out, guys. It is extraordinary quiet once again over here. It's that teeter totter effect. It seems like when we come at uh, come up to uh, uh, extreme resistance over here, you know, building pressure. Uh, well, the western part let out a whole lot of pressure here a couple days ago. Uh, a lot of earthquakes up and down the western part of the Pacific Ring of Fire in areas uh, just to the west here around the Philippine Plate. Now. Uh, it seems as though we're getting that back building of pressure. A little bit of movement up here or south here uh, into the Indonesia Islands. But uh, I think North America and the Caribbean area uh, on, on tap today. Uh, California lighting up up and down the uh, Bay Area from the Geyser region up here around Mount, Mount Kanaktai. Quite a bit of swarming up there. And also around the Vallejo area just off of the Hayward Fault Zone. Not 100% certain which one this is on. Uh, 1.2, I, I never heard of that town, Rodeo, California, never heard of that town. Of course, I don't go to the Bay Area all that often, not my type of, not my type of area to visit, uh, no thank you. Uh, yeah, so just off the uh, Hayward Fault Zone looks like, and uh, a little bit of movement on the Hayward Fault, a little bit further south near the San Leandro area, 1.5. Uh, some further movement on the creeping section here of the San Andreas Fault at 2.1. Uh, pretty shallow earthquake there at 1.7 kilometers and uh, looking at uh, the eastern part of Sierra Nevada there we go with the extreme quietness once again dying down of activity from uh, uh, Nevada southward northward it's all just eerily quiet once again we've seen this a couple of days ago and uh, that's when we've seen that forward push of movement there to the west from the Pacific Plate heading west um, Ridgecrest, a little bit of activity up here, but even then, that's not all that significant. Uh, down south here, sporadic earthquake activity as well. I mean, this is 14 earthquakes here in Southern Cal on the all ma magnitudes map. That's, that's quiet. Let me tell you, that's pretty quiet when it comes to a major plate boundary. Uh, Intermountain West, though, some activity north of Salt Lake City. Looks like a 2.1 and uh, a little bit of activity throughout the uh, Montana and Idaho area. Uh, looks like the Mount St. Helens region seen a little bit more microquake activity overnight. Looks like uh, 0.6 and a negative quake there. This one here is pretty deep to the south. Uh, 0.6 at 16.1 kilometers. This negative earthquake for whatever reason down there almost at about, about 5 kilometers or so. Uh, all other volcanoes throughout the region look pretty quiet in terms of seismic activity. Uh, what else we got? Texas. Some activity, a little, but still, look at this, just a couple couple of earthquakes. I can pretty much count the number of earthquakes out here across the map on, uh, well, if I had three or four hands, maybe that might work. I got a little bit more than 10 earthquakes here on this map, but that's okay. Uh, looking at the Alaska region, uh, things kind of quiet as well. Look at that, not a whole lot going on. Some uh, microquakes throughout the region there, but we got to remember this is the all magnitudes map here and if we were to see no earthquake activity at all here on the all magnitudes along this major plate boundary and subduction zone, I'd be like, okay, plate tectonics is coming to a halt. But uh, definitely always, uh, almost always seeing movement up here, but 
compared to background levels this is kind of on the minimal side uh, Pacific plate over here to the west quiet here's the Indonesia region uh, Papua New Guinea did have some earthquake movement overnight with a 5.0 uh, at 97.8 kilometers and some further pressure to the west here with a couple fours uh, Vanuatu area seen uh, a couple back-to-back -back earthquakes here uh, within a few hours of each other 4.7 and a 4.5 relatively deep here along this region of the uh, Vanuatu area and uh, Tonga 4.4 look at that one 316 kilometers uh, what do we got South Pacific uh, anything going on out there in the Atlantic nope zero just kind of odd how it can go from so busy a couple days ago to uh, just complete quietness just a little on the odd side Things are kind of just shuffling around there for a little bit. Uh, what else we got here? Yellowstone National Park. Uh, we'll check these guys out. A little bit of swarming. It looks like continuing overnight around the borehole area. Just some microquakes on that map popping up. And also showing up down here on the promontory. All other stations look pretty uh, minimal when it comes to earthquake activity at the moment there. And uh, see what else we got. Not a whole lot else going on, folks. Going to... Uh, enjoy the day kind of cold out here in uh, California I guess if 37 degrees is cold it's really not uh, but for California standards I guess it is a lot of people bundle up like it's snowing out here uh, what else 3.4 at the uh, just off the um, Explorer plate it looks like off the coast of the Vancouver Island ranges but overall seismic activity just dying down uh, along this area of Canada all right, folks, I'm going to jump off here um, and uh, get some things done today. Just uh, stay safe out there. It's uh, kind of a, just an odd day in the earthquake world. Of course, always could be the calm before the storm. You just never, never know. All right, folks. Um, yeah. We'll chat you guys later. Don't forget to check out the uh, Earth Master store. The merch store just added it on there. Some new items on there as well. And we'll be adding on a, uh, a bunch more items. Uh, some coffee mugs and whatnot. Uh, backpacks and socks. <laughs> all sorts of cool stuff on the Teespring site. Um, so go check it out. Um, got quite a few orders on there already. They take care of all the orders, of course, uh, shipping and whatnot. So, but go check it out. It's pretty cool. We'll be adding some more designs on there um, from the Earthmaster channel onto the uh, products that they have listed. Have a good day, folks. Stay safe out there. I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do? I need to drop this uh, level to about 24 hours of earthquake activity. When we had that massive amount of swarming over here along the Pacific Plate, uh, had to adjust that hourly number because of the multitude of quakes now that we have uh, less earthquakes a 24-hour globe uh, was actually showing a lot more more like 36 hours on here so now we got it down to about uh, 24 hours of the latest earthquake activity here on the globe remember the red rings are the older quakes the white rings are the most recent and of course the green flag indicating the most recent quake on the globe uh, with the box up here in the uh, right hand corner showing that uh, earthquake have a good day, folks. We will chat at you guys a little bit later. Peace out.